All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to easily download my free cut files and upload them into Design Space. So when you're on my website here, hollygrace.ca, just click on this free cut file tab, and that'll take you to the page where all my free cut files are. So if you go down here, you can see them all, and um, you can pick whichever one you want. Once you decide, say, hey, I want this one, all you have to do is click on the image, and then the file automatically downloads to your computer. You'll notice here that the file is in zip format. So basically, before we can upload it to Design Space, what we need to do is we need to extract the files from the zip. So easy enough to do this, all you have to do is double click on that. It opens the folder, and then you can see the two files are right here. Okay, so this is our zip, this is the folder that was opened, and then here's the two files. Now, if you're working on a computer that say you, when you click this, um, this doesn't download automatically here, for whatever reason you don't have that bar, all you have to do is you have to go into wherever your downloads get stored. So I'm working on a MacBook, so I just go to my Finder, I go to Downloads, here it is. I can double click here, and again, it opens the folder. And then here are our files, okay? So now that we have the zip folder open, we can go into Design Space, we can go to Upload, we can go Upload an Image, Browse, and then go into our Download folder, find the file that we want. So we'll do this Christmas truck here. And again, I'm clicking on the folder, not the zip file. And I'm gonna click SVG. I want to use the SVG versus the PNG because I want to be able to cut colors. So I want these two to separate on my um, on my mats. So if you click the PNG, this file is going to be uploaded. You can't play with it. You can't move these colors, um, unattach them, anything like that. So if you want to cut it with colors, make sure you upload the SVG. All right, so now we have our SVG here. We don't need to edit it or anything. We can just save it. And then we're gonna click on it and insert it into our project. And there you go. So now you can see here that if I just go to cut this right now, make it, nothing is attached, okay? So sure, I'm gonna get the truck, I'm gonna get the tree, but none of my letters are, are attached. And I do that on purpose so that you can edit it and play around and move things if you want to. But if you want to cut it just as it is here, what you can do is you can hit ungroup. We're going to move the truck and the tree out of the way. We're going to select all of this. We're going to click, hold, and drag because all of this is going to be black so we can cut it just like that. We're going to attach it. Now, when we go to cut, you'll see all this stays exactly as it should. So then when we go to heat presses or vinyl, whatever we're doing with it, all we have to do is put in the truck and the, the red truck and the green tree. And this will cut and stay in the exact same spot. So you guys can apply this method to my other designs as well. If you ever have any questions or any concerns, you can always feel free to reach out to me through my contact page on my website. Thanks, guys, and enjoy my free cut file.